welcome to Little Gardeners. Hope you'll join us today. All right, so we're going to make some lemon scrub. Um, Ali had talked about wanting to make some just recently and I thought, let's do that for little gardeners because I know that my hands have been really dry with all the washing that I've been doing lately. Yours too? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Have you been washing your hands a lot? I have, ever yes. since March. So yeah, my hands just need a little bit of uh, TLC. Tend to love and care. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's make some. We've made some with the kids before um, for a little gardener's lesson, and uh, and it's really easy, so let's do it. All right. What it requires um, is a lemon, at least one lemon. Um, I just have two. It might be more than we actually need. Um, and we also need one cup of sugar, and we need some of this, um, this coconut oil, too. We're going to use the coconut oil as well. And then we're going to use some lemon zest. Can you tell everybody what lemon zest is? Uh, yeah, lemon zest is basically the peel of the lemon, so everything on the outside. And you're able to remove the peel with this, which is basically a cheese grater. Mm -hmm, right, so you could use like a regular box cheese grater if you have that too. And it just shreds it into little pieces. Sometimes I use that. We use lemon zest for cookies or even a pasta dish or something. Yeah, yeah and it makes it ultra lemony. Yes. It's almost more lemony than the juice itself, I think, right? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. So what we usually do when um, I do this lesson with the kids is we take the lemon first and we kind of squish it and roll it. So we don't have to do that too much with these lemons because they're already a little bit soft. But when we do this, it kind of activates all the juice in there and uh, gets it ready to release. All right, so all right. we do that a little bit and sometimes the kids will do that until it splits. Sure, that's <laughs> you fun know, Because it is fun, I enjoy it. Okay, so because we need the zest too, let's do that before we cut open the lemon and get Good the juice. Idea. Do you want to go ahead and do the zest? Sure. Okay. Where am I gonna do the zest? Why don't you do it right here on the parchment paper? Okay. And maybe I'll go ahead and use this one and get some juice. So what I have is, even though it doesn't really matter even if we get some seeds in this, but I have a, a little strainer so that I could strain out the seeds as I'm um, getting the lemon juice They're out. really hard to zest. Are, really, are they? These they're like, do not really, want to cooperate. They're super smooth on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll make it almost impossible to zest. You almost need something that has a little bit of grit. But I'm gonna go straight into the jar for this. It's well, no, maybe I'll go ahead and put it in the, um, in the bag. <laughs> so I have this so I can go ahead and put the ingredients right in there. And for this recipe, you don't even really need to measure everything out. So part of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it, just by eye. Then we're gonna add the lemon zest. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna pretend maybe you'll I got have some. maybe you'll have better luck getting lemon zest than we did. <laughs> yeah, they're just very very smooth on the outside. You need so they texture almost just to they almost just to. roll right off the zester. All right. So let's see. Can you go ahead and juice that one? Yeah. This reminds me of making lemonade as a kid. Yeah, I know. And you do a lot of lemons, right? These are really juicy lemons, though. Have you ever made lemonade before with lemons? It's kind of fun to do it from scratch. So see how the seeds are caught in the little strainer? So then it doesn't end up in our, uh, in our scrub. That's right. Okay, that's good. Cool. So now we need, we need about a cup of sugar. Can you go ahead and measure a cup? Sure. In your kitchen, you probably have measuring cups, but I just have something that's a general, a general cup. Because we're just making scrub, it's a little bit more um, textural. So what we want is something that feels kind of oily, but is very, very grainy from all the sugar. Cup. Okay. Can I add it? Good. Yeah, let's add it. All right. And how much coconut oil do we need, Ellie? A quarter cup. Quarter cup. So let's see. Why don't I take that cup right there, okay? You got it. And we're both going to look at it. 
and see when we think it's around a quarter cup. It's funny because I have this coconut oil always in my kitchen cabinets and on a hot day it becomes like liquid and on a cold day like today it's pretty solid. I almost think of it as my little thermometer. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Only on the, the really hot days does it become liquefied. What else do you use coconut oil for? Well, sometimes it could be used uh, in baking. You can eat it? You can! Oh my gosh! You can! You could use it instead of butter. Oh my gosh! That's so cool! <laughs> we watched the British baking show, so they just, they just used it quite a bit just last night. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. Nice. So, inside here we have, hypothetically, some zest, yep. some lemon juice, some sugar and some oil, coconut oil. So I, do you want to go ahead and try to mix it? I'd love to. I would say that you'd, you'll you be able to mix it a little bit with a spoon, but then you might want to get your hands in there too. And if you get some coconut oil on your hands, just work it on in. What have you used coconut oil for? Um, I've used it when I make curry. Um, really? I use coconut oil. I've you used, used it in the pan, like as instead of regular uh, olive oil? One of my friends is vegan, so um, I made cookies once and I used coconut oil. So can you explain what vegan is? It's a certain oh, yeah. kind of diet. Vegan is when you don't eat anything that comes from animals. So you don't eat meat, no eggs, um, no, no milk, milk so cheese. no cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so Great. coconut oil and everything that comes from plants is, yeah. is okay. So Lots coconut of yummy is veggies. perfect. Huh. <laughs> All right, so we kind of have a gloop. It looks like gloop. Okay, so right now I would say it's too liquid, so I want to add more sugar because when I take some, I want it to kind of stand up as a little plop, and yes. then I go like that in my hands. We did use a whole lemon. Yeah. We did. We did. All right, go ahead and mix that up. Do you want to try mixing? Sure. And fun. then we'll show you when um, when the texture seems right, okay? Yes. So it's getting there. Sorry, Ellie. Okay. <laughs> it's Do you want more getting, coconut oil? It's getting close. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. See how we just kind of eyeballed it a little bit? So I think that I might get my hands in there and just mix the rest in there, but this is the kind of texture that you want. So it should be clumpy instead of, um, like you're able to pour it. You don't want yeah. that. If you're able to pour it, you need more sugar. Yeah. But if you can just kind of take a piece of it out like that, then it's right. Okay. Do you want to, should we put it in there and then yeah. we can use it on our hands? lumps of sugar, but I think we're close enough right now. You know what's nice about this project is that it's really nice as a gift. Oh, It's perfect for like Mother's Day or it's a perfect little gift for uh, grandparents or just, just anybody because it doesn't even have like a real feminine kind of scent. I think it's good for a male or a female, don't you think? Yeah, men want soft hands too. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and try it. Okay. Okay. All right. So How much taking... do we use at a time? Well, that's a good question. I usually take a little piece that, I don't know, maybe has about the diameter of like a nickel. Okay. So just a little glob like that. All right. And then you just take it and you scrub. Ooh. Oh. Good. <laughs> So the part of my hand that gets driest is the backs of my hands, yeah. like that. And just like when you're washing your hands with soap, you want to get all the different parts of your hand. You want to go in between your fingers, like this. Do you do that when you're washing your hands with soap? You have to get all the different parts of your hand, the back of your hand, your knuckles, around your fingernails. I'm gonna get in between. It smells really hands. good. It does. It, like it smells really good. It's like coconut and lemon together is really nice. Yeah. 
And then I like to go like this and get my knuckles really well. Oh. Eh. And then the other side. Did you get your cuticles really? I did. Well? Yeah. It gets dry right around my fingernails. It's very sticky. Uh-huh, it is. <laughs> but just wait. Just I am wait. Excited. The magic moment is happening. Okay. So I have some water right here and let's rinse our hands off with the water, okay? Yay. Okay. We could go ahead and right here. Okay. So cold. It is cold water. <laughs> Everything is cold today. Can you hold it right here so yeah. I can rinse off? Of course. All right. Thank you. Okay. And now I've got these. Here, let's dry off. My hands are now hydrophobic. <laughs> can you feel that though? Feel Ooh, how smooth they are? so good. They really feel smooth and silky and they're well moisturized. <laughs> and usually the kids go, oh, it feels so good. It does. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. Wow. All right, so why don't you try a little bit of sugar lemon scrub? It's really easy, and I'll go ahead and put the recipe in the comment section too, okay? So that you don't forget what you need. So you just need lemons, sugar, and coconut oil. And that's pretty much it. Nice. Give it a try.